Hey everyone, this is a quick video I wanted to make on showing people how to find the correct viscosity for your engine. So, as I posted about me using a non dexas D oil and also a 5W30 oil on my uh, 3 liter diesel truck, I'm going to show you how I got to that conclusion, why it's been working well, and how you can research it yourself to see if that is a good choice for you. So, first thing that I want to do here is I'm going to show you one of the best resources online to uh, find information on uh, oil viscosity. So, you go to Driven Oil, uh, Driven Racing Oil, and if you go to the bottom of the page, you can download a catalog from them. Now, that catalog on about page, let me see where I have it, on about, let's see page let's say it starts at around 37 page 37 it's going to show you how to choose the correct viscosity for your engine now this is going to show you a bunch of things of what type of oils depending if it's diesel gas uh it's going to mention a couple of different temperature aspects it's going to have charts of uh you know as temperature goes up oil viscosity go, uh, goes down um as well as oil pressure so the nice thing here is that they have this chart that you can uh reference to your vehicle where it shows you hey these are my main bearing clearances this is the my operating temperature on my engine um and then you can make a choice for what is the best oil that's going to work under those conditions. So, for example, before I get get too far into this, let me see, let me show you guys about the main bearing clearances. So, in service information here, as you guys will see here in the top, you get it's a 2021 GMC Sierra with a three liter turbo diesel. And if you go here to this highlighted section. Let me highlight the whole thing so you guys can follow. It's probably going to be a shit show I'm trying to show all this on the phone. But here. So you have main bearing clearance. You have the main bearing clearance in millimeters. And then you have it in inches. So there you have your measurement. Well, you guys can see that very clearly. And now we're going to go to the catalog. Sorry guys, if you guys hear my cat in the background, uh, making all types of, types of stupid noises. Uh, okay, so here, our truck does have an aluminum block. These are the the clearances that would be matching to our, our main bearing. So, if the truck lives in an operating temperature of 160 degrees oil temperature, the best oil to use would be a 0W10. My truck definitely does not live that cold. So, let's see what the next one is. So, 160 to 220 degrees Fahrenheit. There's two oil options that you could use at that temperature. 0W20 or 5W20. That's what the manufacturer recommends. The manufacturer recommends AC Delco Dexos D 0W20. Now, if your engine oil temp is over 220 degrees then the recommended is either a 5w30 or a 10w30 now i have the i dash on my truck my truck cruising around town is anywhere from 230 to 247 is usually as high as it gets i it's maybe touched 250 once so it's definitely hotter and being a thin oil I choose to run 5W30. So this is a good way of explaining to you guys that this isn't an uneducated guess that I took on my vehicle. Um, I prefer having a little bit extra film strength, a little bit more shear strength from running a slightly thicker oil. Now, you guys don't have to do this. I am absolutely sure, uh, as the engineers tested, that 0W20 Dexas D is going to be just fine. Now, remember guys, the engineers are looking for fuel economy and emissions. They're probably not going to look for the, uh, the best oil for the longevity of the vehicle. 
I'm going to go with that thicker oil. If I lose one or two percent of fuel economy, that's that's a choice I made. So if you guys have any questions, uh, please let me know. Uh, this catalog is on Driven. Let me see. Let me just verify. It's on DrivenRacingOil.com. Uh, it has some really good information. I don't use their oil, but I use the information they provided because I wish every every oil manufacturer did this. Um, it has, if, if you're as nerdy about oils and fuels and all that stuff, I would definitely look into this. At the very least, if you don't change anything, you can at least uh, learn some stuff and learn some theories behind uh, oil. There's also a great YouTube. Uh, I'll just show him really quick. Uh, I love this guy. Um, he has some of the, the best informational uh, oil videos out there that I've seen online. Uh, there's also another YouTube, I think it's called Total Seal Piston, uh, and the guy's called Lake Speed Jr. He also has tons of really good information on lubricants as well. So, if you guys have any questions, uh, please let me know. Sorry about this video quality. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be the best quality being on the phone. Um, please like, subscribe, comment below, see if you guys like uh, the information I provided. If, if you have any questions that maybe I can answer, obviously this is a bit of a complicated subject, but doing a little bit of your own research, you can get to a good conclusion. Uh, like, follow. Thank you guys.